A part of that tropical system that we have been watching for a couple days now out in the open Atlantic. It previously was known as Tropical Depression 13th, the 13th of this Atlantic season, which has been hyperactive. Let's take a look at this visual satellite, or rather infrared satellite. There it is now approaching those leeward islands. Uh, tropical storm warnings now in effect for some of those islands as well as Puerto Rico did pick up a little bit of steam over the past uh, bit of time. So that max wind now around 45 miles an hour, just enough to make it a tropical storm where it is going to stay at that strength, potentially overrunning several islands, including Hispaniola, maybe even Cuba, staying at tropical strength through the weekend into early next week where it sets its sights on the Gulf, likely picking up a little bit more steam as a category one hurricane. That's not the only system we have churning along in the Gulf around that time. We have a separate depression that is uh, just off the coast of Honduras, likely to become a tropical system later today. Tropical storm Marco. We'll have to watch for that and you'll likely see those alerts coming in. But notice both of these tracks place it generally in the Gulf of Mexico around the similar time, possibly seeing two hurricanes around the same time in the Gulf of Mexico that has never been recorded on record. Now there is a lot of questions with this. If this uh, particular storm, which looks to arrive a little bit earlier, takes in some of that moisture, this one, Laura, could potentially be a little bit weaker. To answer your question with you seeing both of these colliding, no, they are not going to collide into a super system more than likely. One's going to increase in intensity while the other uh, is going to decrease in intensity. And the bottom line, as you can see with these tracks, they avoid the southeast, they avoid the low country. But barring any major changes, which we aren't anticipating over the weekend, neither pose an immediate threat to the low country. But we do have some thunderstorms out there that we certainly saw this morning. We'll take a closer look at that and how it may impact your evening coming up in our later forecast. Thank you, David. Right now, you can download our 2020 Hurricane Ready Guide on our website, countonto.com. You can find it under the weather section called Tracking the Tropics. We have a storm surge map, information on hurricane evacuations, and tips on how to build a storm kit.